Today we're venturing on the wild side of Kent where danger lurks in the most unexpected places. Stone is a small town with a crime rate that gives adrenaline drunkies a run for their money. Brace yourself for some shocking statistics. In 2022 they boasted an impressive 220 crimes per thousand people making the rest of Kent look like a bunch of amateur troublemakers at 88 per 1000 residents. This place ranks among the top 5 dangerous small towns in the whole country. But hey, it's located in one of the nicest and poshest counties. What's the secret behind the notorious reputation? Today we are here to unveil that mystery. Welcome to Stone, the dangerous capital of Kent. It's in a cosy little town nestled near the River Thames. This town is playing a daring game of hide and seek between Dartford and Greenhive. Despite its size, Stone enjoys perks of being part of the Dartford Borough. This gives it access to all the amenities and transport links that they would ever need, but it's outside of the town. With a population of 6,400, it has almost doubled in size of population over the last 15 to 20 years. Stone has certainly earned its crime superstar title. In 2022, it claimed it the crown for the highest number of shoplifting incidents in Kent, with a staggering 103 cases reported. But hold on. Let's take a moment to acknowledge that the neighbouring Greenhithe with its fancy Blue Water Mall might have played a sneaky role in boosting Stone's crime statistics. Those shoplifting incidents at Blue Water often mistakenly assigned to Stone really give it an unfair advantage. Now let's get down to the nitty gritty. The most popular criminal activities in Stone are a dynamic duo of violence and sexual offences which put on quite a show with 1,013 incidents in 2022. Move over Hollywood, Stone's got its own action-packed scene here. But fear not, brave adventurers. Despite the adrenaline-pumping crime rate, Stone offers a tranquil suburban lifestyle. Picture yourself living close to the picturesque countryside with easy access to urban areas and transport networks. Blue Water's location with its bustling shops is important for Stone, as I couldn't find a high street in this small town. Perhaps the shop owners were scared off by the crime rates. The only thing I could find was these 10 shops in a row on this one side of a street. Surprisingly, Stone has seen a surge in new housing developments, with properties averaging £347,000 in the past year. Semi-detached properties stole the show, selling for an average £407,000. It seems like danger has its own unique charm. And let's not forget the cherry on top, Stone Castle. Rumour has it that this castle was built without a licence between 11.35 and 11.40. Lovely looking place, but unfortunately the only thing that's remaining from the good old days is the original Lonely Tower. You won't believe it, but Stone, this tiny town, has more car dealerships than it has stop signs. There was literally five or six car dealerships in a span of 200 metres. Now ladies and gentlemen, when it comes to famous folks, Stone might not be the breeding ground for celebrities. I couldn't find any exciting names during my research. But hey, if you know someone from Stone who's shaking up the world, let me know. They deserve a spotlight in this thrilling tale. Oh, and did I mention Stone does have its own train station? Hop on board for a heart-pounding journeys between London Charing Cross, London Cannon Street and Dartford. I say heart pounding as you don't know if you'll get mugged or enjoy train delays or even a train strike. With its transport connections, Stone certainly keeps the adrenaline flowing. Surprisingly, apart from the group of teenagers that were trying to get stoned in a town called Stone wanting to fly my drone, I haven't felt unsafe during my time here and the lovely people I encountered put a smile on my face. Sure, there are some few areas that could use some tender loving care, but let's face it, with rising house prices and the charm of stone, there are far more adventurous places to call home in Kent and the UK. If you have any recommendations for my next daringness escapade, drop them in the comments below. Until then, stay safe and I'll see you in the next thrilling adventure. Bye for now.